Hello, it's me, your long forgotten YouTuber. Yes, it's been a few, and by few, I mean seven goddamn months, bro. Far too long to leave you guys without DK. I know, because I know you guys miss me and love me. Maybe a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> Anywho, I know you guys are excited and thirsty to find out how this upcoming winter season is looking like. And lucky for you, I'm here descending from the heavens, about to spit some knowledge into your little ears. So make sure to grab a seat, make sure to lock your doors, because this is about to get funky if you know what I mean. Season 2 is coming out for this lovely anime that left us with the biggest set of balls ever, man. Like, goddamn, it's getting so good. Of course, this is another isekai anime. No clue how isekais are still a thing. There's so many of them that my little brain can't keep up with them. If you haven't watched the first season, it's alright, because I'm here, bro. I got you. I'm your homeboy, dude. You really know. Makoto is your typical chill dude. Unknown only to him, his parents made a contract with a mysterious goddess that one day, Makoto will will become the next hero who will save the kingdom. But for some reason, when Makoto arrives to this new world, the goddess decides to bend him over and straight out just, mm. for some reason, she got some beef with his parents and so she, the goddess makes it such that he's unable to understand the human language. Her goal is to not make him the hero of this world and to screw him as much as she possibly can. And talking about screwing, she literally TPs him deep all right, deep into the map, it says, hey, I don't like you for some reason, so I'll see you later, brother. Peace. In this world, Makoto has super strength, and his level of mana makes him super freaking broken. He meets a lot of interesting demi-humans, and by interesting, we got this cute little pig lady who comes in clutch. Then we got this dragon lady with blue hair and uh, two big sets of... Uh, <clears throat> of... Uh, a uh, pers uh, personality. That's a real quality right there. Real nice. Regardless of the obstacles he is facing, he still wants to become friends with the humans and, you know, wants to bond with them. His whole goal is to make a world where there's no line between humans and demi humans and monsters or whatever the hell it is. I'm just a rock star. I love this anime, and I know a lot of people have their mixed thoughts on it, but I personally find it entertaining, and if you really haven't watched the first season, essentially what it is, is imagine One Punch Man had hair and was placed in a society that magic was everything. It's such a underrated show, I think, but hey, we got second season number two, and let me briefly describe the first season if you haven't watched it, okay, because this is going to be great, going to be nice. Marsh lives in a society that magic is everything. The marks on people's faces indicate the level of magic. My boy Mash is bowling without any marks in his face. This is a taboo in a society that you have to have magic to succeed, but my boy does not give a crap, alright? And something you have to know about him is that he loves cream pops to death. My man goes out of his way to go into town, which his father has banned him from going, but he doesn't care. And now the whole city knows that there's a dude without marks, and that's when the police says, hey, this is an issue. We're gonna go back to this house, and we're gonna kill this man. But my boy Mash, he does not let him do that, because his dad trained him to when he was a little kid to be just a freaking unit of a human being all right my boy mash literally plays soccer with an energy ball like it's nothing my boy over here be doing squats and dancing with a full bar of 45 plates in it the police officer is now aware that he can't really do anything to defeat mash so the police man offers him a deal says hey mash why not go to this prestige academy climb all the way to the top let the world know that anyone without magic doesn't matter if they're weak or strong they can do it so without any hesitation mash agrees to his terms and goes to this crazy academy to prove himself all right all right now we're getting into the meat and bones of the list and if you made it this far then 
if you want me to continue making these types of videos make sure you hit that like button letting me know that you like the things that i do and if you want to be part of the dangle gang make sure you hit that sub button all we do here is spread some love and anime baby all right enough of that let's go back into the list baby classroom of the elite cross crazy man ko ikuzi senior is an elite high school where only the outstanding individuals of society can attempt in this high school there is a ranking system in place a being the highest and d being the lowest students who are in the highest classes are treated well and are even offered well-paying jobs when they graduate really cool unfortunately being in class d means that students are treated badly and are only there to set an example of where you don't want to be. Kiyotaka is a mysterious guy who doesn't like standing out. His goal is just to chill out, take a fat head, you know, and just relax. While attempting the high school, Kiyotaka meets an interesting girl by the name of Suzane. Okay, she's your typical Sandere. Both of them are in class D, and actually, Suzane wants to climb to the highest rank, which is A. And my boy, being the thinker and always having a motive, he's always cooking, he decides to help her out. But you have to pretty much complete challenges as a class to be able to climb to the next class. This anime has a lot of nail biting moments and is always keeping you glued to the seat, always making you think, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? And that was literally me last season, dude. I was was freaking the hell out and i'm so glad that they're finally making season three and speaking of season three i'm pretty sure the first episode just came out so you know what i do after this video bro dude i can't believe that this anime is getting a second season that is actually insane this damn anime came out in 2011 dude it's been a hot minute and now thinking about it i realized this anime kind of ended up in a little rough spot i always wondering if there was gonna be more and i guess after a couple years yeah there is more i'm honestly really hyped about this anime really glad that they bringing my childhood back bro because i grew up on this man all right so in this world there's humans and there's demons okay the humans are obviously fighting the demons away from the human world and these type of people are called exorcists the demon king has no vessel to spawn into the world so he decides to send his two sons into the human world as little babies as they grow up this is where the main story picks up rin and yukio are adopted by this priest ironically enough and rin actually grows up unaware of his past unaware that the fact that there's demons on his way back home he finds out that his church is being attacked by demons and this is where Ren is finally exposed to the cruel fact that he is the son of satan my boy does not want to accept the fact that he's the son of the demon king he wants to be an exorcist and that's where he goes to this crazy academy where he can get better at killing demons and saving the world and saving his little brother i am so happy again they're making a second season out of it after so many years and i am so hyped to watch it and hopefully if you haven't watched this anime push you into watching this anime if you haven't watched it but we got some variant anime viewers here so who knows who knows you, you probably already watched it already but yeah second season it could be great boys